this wasn't tightened all the way. This was, this was a little bit loose, but that gave you a false lean, not rich. I don't like the way these threads feel. I think Danner had mentioned that too, didn't he? The nice thing is this has been removed already. This would make for, um, make for a really difficult process if this wasn't already removed. The threads were definitely boogered up on this side in the, in the uh, exhaust manifold itself. Oh, dude, I just snapped it. It just got loose on me. Oh no, oh no. It just like took the freaking threads. <sighs> that sucks. Let's see if he's got a tap. I'm just glad that this is not in a really, really bad spot. Because this could wreck your day. In some applications, you'd be taking the exhaust manifold off. You know, when you when you do stuff like this, this is, you know, there's, there's pause to call the customer and see how they want to proceed. You know what I mean? This was a legit uh, test that we were doing and you know, where, where you would stop and you would make sure that you don't get buried in this car is once that, once that sensor got tight, you stop right there, call the customer. I mean, I, I should have got a tap. I made the mistake of not getting a tap right off the bat from my brother. I really need a, a die now. So tap and die like the other part to clean the threads up on this O2. I don't want to booger the threads up in the manifold. I just bought something stupid like Christmas. What is that? What a huh. universal thread repair tool. <laughs> How, why would you have this in an unopened box? <laughs> okay. That's so random. <laughs> the worst part about this, this might all have been for naught. And this is, this is a good example of why Swaptronics isn't always the best approach. You look at that, you're like, ah, oh, those O2s were out. My brother had them out. I like the approach, I like the idea. And then something like this happens and then like just eats up your time. And then like we may we may have the same problem and I, I just barking up the wrong tree, you know?